Well, what is going on, family? I am just leaving the office and uh, heading to pick up my daughter, but I wanted to talk with you today. I wanted to pick some of y'all's brains, get some ideas from you, and tell you about a lesson I learned today. Uh, I've been told for a long time now, probably a couple of years at least, that I should do something online. I should start a podcast, uh, a video vlog, if that's what it's called. And I've pushed it off, pushed it off, pushed it off, uh, partly because I know to do it right and to do it great takes a lot of work, and partly because there's too many people out there trying to be famous. But I can't get it out of my heart that there's some things that God has downloaded in me that I can help maybe a few other people out, out there. I'm not trying to grow any massive platform or become a YouTube celebrity or anything like that. Um, but I also want to make sure that I leave this planet empty. And so not just invest in the people in my life, but invest in the people I haven't met yet. I already know that I want to call my program Mr. Rodney's Neighborhood. If you know me, you know I love Mr. Rogers and be a, a major tribute to him because I want everybody to be my friend. I want everybody to be my neighbor and I want to welcome people in uh, and hear how they think and how they process life. And I'm just trying to figure out what that looks like a little bit. So I would absolutely love for you to leave some comments on the different platforms I post this on to let me know if you know Rodney Lowen let me know what should I be talking about what should I be podcasting about if you will what is it that I have maybe that's going to set me apart um, for other people not for the sake of being different but God only made one Rodney Lowen, and so I want to be that Rodney Lowen on the podcast. Um, and I just want to talk about different things. I love having conversations, so I kind of feel like it'll be a conversational type podcast with somebody else on there uh, on a regular basis. And then I would, I would love to have different guests. Then I'd like to have some repeat guests, of course. Um, I don't know anybody famous, really, so uh, I don't know about like I don't have a I don't, I don't have a list of like oh if I could get this person it would set me up or anything like that. But that being said, I look forward to hearing your comments and you know, I just told somebody recently I wanted to do a better job of dropping something each day and just seeing what becomes of it. Now, one other thing I wanted to share with you. For those of you who've been around me a while, you may have noticed Rodney Lowen is wearing glasses. How you like my frames? You like my glasses? I picked these out and um, bought them offline, put in my prescription, cool website. And these are transition lenses. So I'm about to be 49 this year. First time in my life, I have to wear prescription glasses. But I bought these transition lenses and I've never had transition lenses before. I have worn readers for the last year or two. Um, but now they said, no, you have to wear glasses all the time. But I put on these transition lenses and they are messing me up because if I look down, it's a little blurry. Um, and if I look to the side, it's a little blurry. And like I have to put my head perfectly straight to see things. So right now, looking to the right, side eyeing you, the phone is just a little bit blurry. Um, and so I like, man, I don't want to get in a car wreck in these things. But then every time I have to look at a screen, every time I have to look at somebody, if I'm reading something, I gotta turn the head just right to get that perfect angle. Maybe I'll get used to it, but it did make me think about the vision that God gives us because so many people are always talking about their purpose and the dream. They just wanna operate at what God's called them to do. Um, and I think, you know, when I look through these transition lenses, if I look straight ahead and I look through the upper part of the glasses, I can see things that are far off and I see them pretty clearly, but I might not see every detail. Like there is a sign up ahead. Um, I already know what the sign says because I drive this way every day, but if I didn't know this way, 
this sign to me would be something, um, it would be where I could see the sign, but I'm not close enough to really know what it's saying. That being said, uh, and I'm at a stop, so I'm not driving and reading. Um, I couldn't read my Bible in this um, without these glasses, but if I look down, now the bottom part of my transition lens makes this print, which is not big print. You could probably see, I know the sunlight is here and this is not good production, but this is, this is not a big print Bible by any means. But the glasses, when I look down, they give me this close-up vision to be able to see the fine print. And then, again, if I look to the sides, it's a little blurry. I think that's the way God deals with us sometimes. I think God gives some of us a big picture just to keep us going in the right direction. But we don't have all of the details until we get close. And therefore, we should not be trying to make plans around those details because we could be misinterpreting what the sign ahead really says. We just know that it's a sign. We just know that it's a business. We just know that it's a platform. We just know that it's a nonprofit. We just know that it's a career path. We just know it's a degree. But it's dangerous to try to interpret this because of how far away it is. Meanwhile, God is trying to show you some things now that will actually get you in the right direction, but you have to be willing to look down and read the fine print. And then the fine print, what it does is it gives you direction. It says, okay, go ahead and go up to that sign and then take the exit. Or when you see that sign, go ahead and go down another mile. Um, go ahead and take that course. And then once you take that course, we're gonna have you change your major. Once you, um, go ahead and start serving in this ministry, you're gonna get a small understanding of how things work in other parts of the ministry. And also, don't look to the left or the right. Now we know that's in the Bible, right? Don't look to the left, right, because there's so many distractions out there. You gotta keep your, your head focused straight ahead. And if you are gonna look to the left or right, please, please, please turn your head. Turn your head so you're not just getting a, uh, something in your peripheral but you're getting a complete picture so when i look to my right right now it's just a little haze but if i turn my head i get a complete picture of what's over there to my right and to my left and i think these transition lenses are just an awesome frustrating way to learn about how god does things because i'm having to constantly make sure my focus is right that my head's in the right direction you gotta have your head in the right direction and I can't have too many distractions. I can't worry about what's going on here, what's going on here. I have to stay straight, focused straight ahead. And when the time is coming, when I don't know what's going on, that's when I need to look down and go ahead and read the fine print, get in God's word, do the little things today, because the little things today, the little fine print things today are going to eventually get you to the place where it's not a far off picture. But if you don't read the fine print today, you don't follow the small directions, you could misinterpret the big picture. So hopefully that blesses somebody. Hopefully you learned something. This is the first ever episode of Mr. Rodney's Neighborhood. I love you, family. Bye now.